Hi guys, Charmian here from Food by Charmian. I hope all is well. I am getting ready to do tortillas. It was a requested demo and I'm happy to cover it. For this, you will need three cups of all purpose flour, half teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, one two cup of canola oil, and one cup of warm water or enough water to form a smooth dough. Watch as I you know, put it together for you all, using all these steps. I'm gonna set my flour, all-purpose flour at that. Some persons will use corn, flour, or so forth in their own. I guess if you like things the healthy way, you can also use uh, like whole wheat flour and so forth and so forth, okay? Because healthy eating is it's holy rage a couple years well now in the culinary or food food world just use my sifter if you don't have it use a hammer see it just helps things to device so much more rapidly so let me just measure that half teaspoon of i'm using coarse sea salt today half teaspoon of the salt i don't like salt that is why i'm using half teaspoon with the coarse salt less is more as the texture of that coarse salt. Usually I don't put in my oil first when I am working with oil and water. I'm gonna get in my baking powder now, not soda, powder. There is a difference. Don't ever substitute one for the other in a recipe. Let me just combine all my dry ingredients. You can use this in your stand mixers and your handheld mixers with your dough hooks and so forth. Some persons just prefer to use their machines when they are doing work like these, okay? I have a lot of gadgets and devices, you all know that, for the kitchen, but I prefer not to use them a lot of times. Some persons, like I said, they will add the oil first. I don't like to do that when I'm working with oil and water. It doesn't matter. You don't need any special temperature water for this, okay? Simply because we are not working with yeast. Remember how much water I said it was, although you all saw me get it out of the jug directly. Remember, it's a measurement, okay? It was one cup. So don't just don't just throw by averaging or eyeballing like I did. Stick to your one cup. You can always add more. And I will say use three quarter of that one cup first, and then you move in with adding the rest if necessary. You always want to use wisdom in anything, not just cooking. Okay. You want to have additional flour for dusting. When you are working with flour, you always want to knead as much as you can. It helps to make the gluten go in the flour. Just adding light pressure or mild pressure. You don't want to over um you don't want to over knead it or under knead it. Okay. It helps when you are mixing when you are working with flour to get the um when you do this to get everything you know to get the dough really nice and elastic consistency and so forth. So remember I said the extra for dosing, keep watching as I bring it together. So now I'm going to get my dough, my tortilla dough onto my, uh, my bamboo board. Okay. I choose bamboo on purpose. You, you want to do your part to cut down on the, uh, you want to do your part to keep the planet safe. Okay. That's what I want to see. So I choose a lot of my cutting board being bamboo on purpose. If you are hearing that noise by chance, it's just my refrigerator. It makes those weird sounds. Don't, don't be confused. It's just the refrigerator. I'm working very close to it. So I'm going to cut it into equal, equal parts now, sorry. Uh, the tortilla, they are not really huge. Some are very cute, neat. I know some of you know that. 
uh, I have some Spanish folks that, that, you know, follow me. And at times they will comment and tell me, you know, that's not what it's named in our nation or so forth or so forth. And I appreciate it. I always do. So you want the goal is to get it as even as possible, okay? That's your goal always because you want the cooking time to be the same, basically. I am using a bench knife. Use whatever you can. If you if you own a pizza, we use that. Use whatever you have. Okay? This is filled with a lot of stuff, a lot of good stuff, nice stuff. It's more a Spanish thing, okay? They fill it with things like black, black beans. They will use some lime, sometimes shrimp. A lot of different goodness. Red uh, onions. Listen, it's far and wide with this. It's, it always just looks so good. So I am going to do two for you all. I will be doing one on the flat top, which is my electric uh, griddle. Okay, I'm going to be doing one on there and I'm going to do one in my electric grill. Just want to get in some extra uh, flour on there to get ready to form it into its perfect pillow. Perfect nice pillow. And then we're going to roll it out thinner from there and get it onto the, onto the, the, uh, the griddle, okay? Some persons might use different things to cook it on. Oh, and they do sell that, the tortilla press. I owned two. So they have them for sale. Just look for it. Your regular uh, home store should have it. I don't think my refrigerator intends on letting up today. I don't think so at all. Sometimes it's really quiet and at other times it just makes that ridiculous noise. Like for half an hour periods and so forth and so forth, okay? These things are so easy to make, you might wonder why didn't I do this before at home? You know, because you might have stuff to, to fill it and you might not have this and this alone might cost you a trip to the supermarket or your food store. And once you can make it, you'll be like, okay, I have AP in my um in my pantry or my cupboard. I have all purpose flour. You know, I, I can do this. I have this. You understand that? So yeah, this is the whole purpose of me. And I'm always happy when one of my supporter or supporters request any particular demo because it gives others chance to learn. Sometimes person might want to ask and they're a bit shy or you know they might say, you know, Shamian, she's already busy. I don't want to add any more you know pressure to what she already does so when one person acts i always say it's like a classroom others benefit also the thing is you want it in a perfect circle i want it in a perfect circle some persons might not fuss about that so as perfect as i can get it i will appreciate it some persons might be like ah uh, some persons don't will even be like literally just this in size you all understood that just speaking because I want you all to understand the different takes on it. I will run a food feed here on it uh, to coincide with this demo, okay? So you will have a, a more elaborate uh, definition of what they are exactly. So check my uh, Facebook business page, Food by Shami, on for that. So I have the uh, my griddle on set and I am um, I'm just some persons might not do this whatsoever you don't want to take chances although my griddle is non-stick you want to play it very safe and put just a bit of oil on there okay I'm using just a basic silicone brush to do that I already have it you also when I roll it out okay so I'm going to now get it onto there and let it go for a couple of minutes So guys, you all see the amount of air pockets or bubbles that we are getting. This is what you want to see. Okay, I'm just leaving it to get a bit more color. So far, it's been on the griddle for, I will say, one minute. Because the griddle isn't very high. So I'm just going to turn it over. It's now getting a nice color. 
you don't want too much of that you don't want too much of that all over it okay and it's it's more or less almost finished of course i want to show you guys it done also on the look at that gorgeous two ply action you all have seen it live for you look at it it's just doing this thing on the gorgeous 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 really gorgeous i want to get it onto the grill electronic electric or electronic grill also indoor grill for you all to see of course if you don't have a grill like that and you have the ones for outdoors use your grill whatever grill you have use your grill okay i'm gonna i have to always cover all these tips for you all because i love you all and i want you all to have the same results so we are getting close to this one coming off of the griddle and we are going to move on to getting one done on the grill like i said so pay attention and watch it's the same step just a different technique a different device same results okay so guys i now have my electric uh grill slash skillet on set and we are going to get it uh the, the tortilla down there okay so it's that time for us to see the second part of this same thing done two different ways because like I said, the, those grill lines, they look on a, almost anything. Fruit, vegetable, those. It's just amazing what the grill lines do to food. I'm just giving it a light coat again. Using my, uh, my pastry brush. Yeah, the, the grill is very hot, so I'm going to get it straight down in there. You want to make sure you have your circumference locked properly when i mean lock down to a t because if you make it too big it won't can fit in the things like these okay so get your be very accurate in your averaging or guesstimating when you are working with your food stuff okay it's gonna cook rapidly in under two minutes it's gonna be done you want to have your meats and so forth prepared ahead of time for things like these okay your beautiful strips of chicken breast if you are a vegan because this dough doesn't contain any eggs or animal fat and so forth you want to get your things like your chickpea and your grains and so forth ready and waiting to go into there okay it was just a demo You all are seeing the grill lines, right? You all are seeing the gorgeousness with it. It's literally sitting in the grooves. The dough, it's sitting in the groove. Yeah, you want to you wanna always have your things prepared ahead of time. Okay? I know you all know what I want to say. And, you know, the vegans or the vegetarians must not be left out. It have too much of products now that you all can trade up. And I know you all know because you all are the vegetarians or vegans that you can put into these things. Okay? Uh, my fellow Trinidadians and Tobagonians or Trinbagonians, I know you all will say, but that is sad. Where did they get this fancy name for it? Remember, different nations of the earth have different names for their food. Okay, and I want to say now that sometimes in Sada, depending on who the cook or the chef is or the person making it is, a bit, even if it's a minute amount of yeast, will be used in Sada. Okay, I had to say that, but this doesn't contain any yeast. And this is going to be a big score for a lot of persons. For health reasons, I have a lot of persons that even I know don't eat yeast. They consider it somewhat contaminated, for lack of a better word, okay? Remember, I'm here to educate, not just come and cook and look fancy. Let's give this a flip now. It isn't colored yet, but we are turning it nonetheless. When that side is finished, we are going to go back and let that side get some brilliant grill marks. Okay? The goal is just making sure that it's cooked and then things like, and let me say now, even if you did it on your griddle and you have a grill, you can still, because if you buy it at the supermarket already made, you will still want to put it on your grill once it can fit. So you can still, even if you made it on one device like you saw me did on the griddle, you can then now transfer into your grill or onto your grill. I, um, I know you all understood what I said. It's just that I want to show both techniques done for you all to see the results. I could have simply taken it from the grill griddle and get it into my grill but no i wanted to show you guys that it can be cooked 
cooking can be accomplished on both devices. So that's why I did it this way, okay? So guys, we have come to the end of this tortilla demo, gorgeous, or purpose flour tortilla, de tortilla sorry, demo. Uh, it was my pleasure as always, just a bit of aesthetics in regards to what, you know, they were putting it. Of course, a lot of stuff is missing. Uh, if you are seeing the lime on set and you was a bit confused or you were a bit confused, please don't. I didn't use the lime in the making of this whatsoever. I just wanted it on my set. Here you are seeing some nice corn and well, red, on red onions and so forth. If you pay attention, you're going to see the ones that I did on the grill. You are seeing a bit of the grill impression or marks and this is the one that was done on the griddle itself you are not seeing any of those marks whatsoever the texture is brilliant i'm going to break into one that i have off of set to show you all i want to show you guys how soft it is also i'm just ripping it apart and i'm going to just hold on to it i don't want it on the set look at the beautiful air pocket that we have there okay that's the texture that we have guys the pleasure as always it was my own if you have any questions in regard to this demo comment below and i'll be happy to assist you food by shami and we are all over social media we are on facebook public uh page that page name is food by shami on instagram account food by shami and also public we have a website www.foodbyshamion.com we have an email address for the business Food by Shami on at gmail.com. We have a blog on Tumblr or Tumblr. That account name is Food by Shami on, of course. We have an account on Pinterest. Name of that account is Food by Shami on. We have a YouTube channel. That channel name is Food by Shami on. Okay, I have um, a phone number. Uh, if you want to reach me, that you can reach me on. Please get that number on the Facebook business page. I I am purposely holding off and giving all that number on my YouTube channel. But like I said, it's there on the Facebook business page. It's so easy that you don't have to memorize it. You press a button, my call directly on the page, and it's going to connect to the business line. Guys, I appreciate and love you all. Those of you that love what I do, you all mean more to me than you all would even imagine or know. Until I'm with you all, I thank you all for watching and bye.